Jonathan Majors has been dropped by his talent manager. Talent manager Entertainment 360 have dropped Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors did more than just talent one manager incident. Jonathan, Jonathan Majors, Majors has have been dropped, dropped by his Majors. talent manager. Is Jonathan Majors' career over before it even began? Well, let's jump back a little bit. At just 14, Jonathan Majors began his acting career, but struggled heavily to find any sort of work. Eventually, he made his acting debut in ABC's When We Rise in 2017. Eventually, he began starring in movies such as Out of Blue and White Boy Rick over 14 years after he began his acting career, but it wasn't until late 2019 when Majors was confirmed to play the role of Kang in the MCU, giving him one of the biggest movie roles of all time. He made his MCU debut in the final episode of Loki, which came out July 14th, 2021. The show was quickly greenlit for season 2 because Kang's story was incredibly important. Kang's story led Jonathan Majors straight to the doorstep of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which he was the best part of. Soon after, Jonathan Majors would catch a second big break, getting confirmed as the antagonist of Creed 3, backed by over 47 years of Rocky and Creed movies in the franchise. This would make him the most popular actor in all of Hollywood, at least for the time being. After his double movie release in February and March, the future was looking bright for Majors. He was set for life, and all of this fame had just hit him but didn't stay positive for very long. On March 25th, everything changed. Just three weeks after Creed 3, Majors was allegedly arrested in Manhattan on multiple misdemeanor charges. He was facing charges of strangulation, harassment, and even assault in a reported domestic abuse dispute over someone that was considered to be his girlfriend at the time. While this entire situation was alleged, it didn't matter because Majors' name was being actively changed from a quick-to-fame star to a man that didn't deserve to be in the industry. Within a few hours, he was getting compared to the likes of Ezra Miller, who has an extreme history of assault and other minor crimes. Many people began to get extremely concerned as Major is the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and recasting him could destroy the hype that the franchise badly needed. After being plummeted by hate and poor reviews, the MCU really needed Kang to come through and this news about Jonathan Majors was terrible. Eventually, things started to calm down because most of the people that cared about the situation wanted to hear from the man himself. They wanted the most accurate information, so they were waiting for Jonathan Majors to respond. The next day, Majors' lawyer came out with a statement saying that he is completely innocent and provably the victim of an altercation with the woman he knows. He even went as far as revealing private DMs with the woman, pleading his case. This puts him down in the water, not only arguing that Majors was innocent, but furthermore, that he was a victim. This made some people a little bit less anxious, but people were still worried. There wasn't much information about this at all, and it could have gone any way. Days passed, and not much information about the altercation with the girl was released, until recently. On April 17th, 2023, Majors was suddenly dropped by his management team, which almost confirms that something serious went down behind the scenes. Keep in mind that Majors is set to play Kang in the MCU, and this will definitely lead him to other lead roles. Dropping Majors without him doing something serious behind the scenes would have been a very poor business decision. The reason we were given for this quick turnaround was issues surrounding the actor's personal behavior, but I think there's a lot more to it than this. This was most definitely because Jonathan Majors did something behind the scenes, and the only thing I can think of is the alleged assault. Right now, Majors' entire future depends on these next few weeks of his life. If he is innocent, he needs to clear his name in the right way. His name has already been tarnished, and there's almost no way back from this. Even more so, if more information does come out about Majors, Disney will have no choice but to recap. Him. They can't make a criminal the face of the MCU. More recently, multiple women have just come out speaking against Jonathan Majors for alleged abuse and are working with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office to solve this case. His first official court hearing is May 8th, so I guess until then, we just have to wait. If Majors is confirmed to be the perpetrator and Disney decides not to recast him, the company could face extreme backlash and it could be terrible for the industry. If Majors is dropped by Disney, no company will want to work with him, leading him to the fastest fall from grace imaginable. I think it's also important to keep in mind that if Majors is not innocent, there are also victims involved. This is not just a bad business deal, this is something that could affect people's lives permanently. If there are victims, they deserve justice.